Hi, you're watching a quick and easy guide to installing the latest version of CyanogenMod Mod CM11, which is Android KitKat, onto the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. We're Mobile Network Comparison. Okay, so this is going to be the quickest and easiest way to get Cyanogen Mod installed on your phone. But before we can flash the ROM over, we need to make sure, first of all, that the phone is rooted. And secondly, we need to install a custom recovery that will allow us to flash it across. So if your phone is not already rooted, and you can check this with the Root Checker app from the Play Store, this link here is going to take you to our nice, quick and easy tutorial video, which will explain how to make sure your phone is rooted. And then once your phone is rooted, it's really easy to install a custom recovery. In this tutorial, we're going to be using TWRP, the Team Win Recovery Project. And again, there's a link here to another video that will make that very simple and explain exactly what you have to do. Once your phone is rooted and you've got the custom recovery installed, you're ready to go ahead and download the latest version of Sign Engine Mod and the G apps, which we're going to flash both of these zips onto the phone, and that's going to install the ROM. So the links are in the description below. Just head to the Cyanogen Mod website. We're going to make sure that we're downloading the version for the i9300, which is the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. There currently aren't any stable versions for CM11, so we're going to be working with the latest nightly. And here is the latest version at the time we made this video. You've got the custom recovery installed and now we can just reboot into recovery. Of course, make sure you've transferred the files over to your phone. So we're going to use the custom power menu to reboot into recovery or alternatively you can use the normal method of holding down the home key, the power key and the volume up key until the phone reboots. And here we are in team win recovery. From here you can back up if you want. Again, the previous tutorial will explain how to do that. And then before we install anything, we're going to have to do a factory reset and wipe the data, the cache and the Dalvik cache so the ROM has got a clean slate to start on. So this will only take a few seconds. It's just going to wipe those three things through the recovery. Then we can hit back and back once more and we're ready to install the zip. So browse through your file system to find the Cyanogen mod zip file you downloaded earlier. It'll be in my downloads folder. Select it and then add the zip for the G apps. Both of these zips will be flashed in succession. Just swipe across to begin and I'm going to fast forward through while this goes ahead. It does take a minute or two, but it will be keeping you up to date with what's going on in the command line above. And it's looking like we're doing the second zip now, just about almost finished. And there you go, all done. All it takes now is to hit the reboot system button and we'll be booting straight into our brand new installation of the Cyanogen Mods ROM. Again, this is Cyanogen Mod 11 running the latest version of Android KitKat. Now, if you've ever flashed a ROM across before, you know that the first boot is always the slowest. So again, I'm just going to fast forward through this quickly. It does take a while, but don't worry, your phone will eventually boot up. Okay, we're almost getting there now. So here we are booted up into Cyanogen Mod. I'm going to go ahead and choose my language. Hit next, and just skip through all these steps at the beginning, so I can't be bothered to show you setting up a Google account, signing into Wi-Fi, etc, etc. Just choose whatever options you prefer, check your date and time are correct, and once you hit finish, you're in Sign Engine Mod. So it's just going to give you some tips, and there is your fresh new desktop. And I'm going to go into settings, scroll down to about phone, and show you that hopefully we are now running Android version 4.4.4 and you can see we're running the Cyanogen mod. So here we are, proof. This is Android KitKat and it's really that quick and that easy. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching. We hope this was useful, we hope you found it easy to follow. This is 
we think by far the easiest and simplest and safest way to update your phone onto the Cyanogen Mods ROM just by flashing it through a custom recovery. Thanks very much for watching. We've been Mobile Network Comparison. Please check out some of our other videos and if you found this video useful, consider subscribing to our channel or giving us a thumbs up. Cheers. Bye.